So the great thing about these videos is that they're totally asynchronous. So just hit uh, midnight on a beautiful Saturday night here at BU and uh, no better time than to make one of these videos for you. So today what we want to learn about are the sort of the canonical layers of an organ. So I'm going to teach you about the layers uh, in the GI system with our favorite esophagus slide here, but um, these layers apply more or less to all the organs that you see, but they, uh, they apply the best um, to portions of the GI system, so like the esophagus, um, because that's where, uh, frankly, where you see the most of these layers. Um, so Let's start off with a couple of things that we talked about before, the mucosa and the serosa. So we said the mucosa is a uh, wet surface, actually a sort of a mucus secreting surface, um, but the term is used to apply to basically all the orifices uh, in the body and the extensions of those orifices. So the esophagus is one of those surfaces, and we're talking about the inside surface. So this part right here, uh, just the tissue that basically supports that epithelium and its wet surface, um, is the part called the mucosa. And we learned about the part called the serosa, which is the part that lines the outer surface of an organ that faces a body cavity. And remember the serosa is on uh, only part of this tissue here, so it's about like this. Let's draw something uh, quite like that. That part over there, this part over here, and actually it's probably better to just draw the line uh, like that. Um, and remember we said the serosa consists of the outer epithelium, which is called a mesothelium. Uh, and its associated connective tissue. Now, if you notice, the, the mucosa layer in the middle also consists of the outer epithelium, or the inner epithelium in this case, plus its associated connective tissue in here. And we also have muscle tissue uh, in both of these layers. So, uh, if we just consider the layers of this organ in terms of the types of tissue, remember a layer is, uh, a, you know, a continuous uh, chunk of the same tissue that goes, you know, that sort of encircles uh, the lumen of the organ. So the layers, uh, the types of tissue that, if you've examined this slide that you've encountered, are this tissue here is an epithelium, this tissue down here is a connective tissue. This tissue beneath that um, is a uh, layer of smooth muscle tissue. So that mucosa of the organ is made up of a epithelium, it's uh, basally located connective tissue, and a muscle layer. And in fact that the name of that muscle layer is the muscularis mucosi not muscularis mucosa. Some people say that by mistake, but rather it's called the muscularis mucosi AE because in Latin that means of the. So the muscularis mucosa is the muscularis layer of the mucosa. So three layers to the mucosa, epithelium. The connective tissue layer is termed the lamina propria. And then this outer muscularis mucosa. On the other side, the serosa layer has the outer epithelium that we talked about, which is the mesothelium. It has subjacent connective tissue, which doesn't really have a name uh, to that part. It's just the connective tissue portion of the serosa. I don't know why it doesn't have a name, but it doesn't. And the, the muscle layer that's subjacent to it here is, uh, for the GI system, is a very, very thick muscle layer. And in fact, this is a, uh, you know, usually a big functional muscle layer in the organ. Uh, in the GI system, we call the, this the muscularis externa. Uh, in other words, the muscle layer that's on the outer side of the organ, muscularis externa. Um, in other organs, other than GI, uh, this layer might be simply called the muscularis 
just plain muscularis uh, in deference to the fact that there may only be one muscle layer. Uh, or it might be called the muscularis propria, the proper muscle layer of the organ. But in the GI, it's the muscularis externa. Now, we've accounted for all the layers of tissue in this organ except for this middle layer of tissue here, and you know what type of tissue that is. Uh, that's connective tissue. Um, this connective tissue layer right here is subjacent to the mucosa la layers here. So this is called the submucosa, the submucosa layer here. So from inside to outside, lumen, lumen, uh, epithelium, lamina propria, muscularis mucosi. Those three layers form together the mucosa of the organ. Then we have the submucosa. We have the muscularis externa. We have the connective tissue layer of the serosa, and then we have the mesothelium of the serosa. Now that's almost all the layers. There's one more little wrinkle, which is that if we look at the muscularis externa layer, we can actually, in the GI system, we can usually divide that layer into sublayers, and the most common sublayers. Um, most commonly you find two of them, although terms and conditions apply for different organs. These two layers that are the inner layer is uh, consists of fibers that usually run circumferentially around the organ like this, so this is called the inner circular layer. And the outer layer consists of fibers that run uh, lengthwise down the organ, so in this case they'd be in and out of the planar section of the board, in other words, like this, little dots here, I'm trying to draw dots. Um, so that's called the outer longitudinal layer of the organ. And we can confirm this um, if we just zoom in. Uh, I'll zoom in on an area, maybe over here somewhat, whoops. Zoom in on that area right over there. And do, 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 do. There we have a nice view of that. And you can see here what I was telling you that the inner circular layer, which in this view runs this entire length here, predominantly these muscle fibers are arranged uh, this way, i.e. they're cut longitudinally, especially up here and down here. We see nice long uh, smooth muscle cells. So they're cut longitudinally, but it's a transverse section of the organ, therefore these muscle these uh, muscle cells run, this muscle layer runs circularly, inner circular layer. And here we see a very short profiles. We see very uh, small profiles of the muscle cell. I can't even draw it at this magnification, but these are all individual sort of circular muscle cells in there. Uh, remember in the esophagus we've got our occasional skeletal muscle. Those can, we can see those fibers a little bit better. So these are the skeletal muscle fibers. There's a bunch over here. Um, and these we can really see are cut transversely. But since the organ is also cut transversely, that means these fibers are running uh, uh, up and down in, uh, in and out of the plane of section here. In other words, they're running longitudinally with the organ. So the outer longitudinal layer. Okay, so um, there you have the standard layers of an organ. One more time just for review. Starting from the lumen, we have the epithelium. We have the subjacent connective tissue which is the lamina propria. We have the muscularis mucosa. Those three layers form the mucosa. We have the submucosa, which is connective tissue. We have the muscularis externa, which is most commonly divided into the inner circular layer and the outer longitudinal layer. And then we have the connective tissue of the serosa we have the mesothelium of the serosa. Layers of an organ 
at midnight on a Saturday night.